This is what I would call a very visible trail. This, oh boy, this is our forest. Uh, this is, oh, I'd hate to say it's a pine tree and be wrong with all these spruce branches. Um, there's some lichen. This is a pine tree. Uh, these are our pine trees in central British Columbia. I believe this has to do with the fact that uh, being an ex-lumber grader, I know that they like to plant pine trees. And that is mostly because they have most of their branch growth at the top of the tree. You can see the burrows of the beetles. And so, because of the predominantly pine forest, they of course developed disease, being in an unnatural way. And this disease was called our pine beetle. The pine beetle burrows under the bark and eats away at the cambium layer, which provides the nutrients to the uppermost branches. And by the way, they like the pine because the branches grow at the top, so they don't get so much knots in the lumber, in the lumber industry. And they tend to grow very quickly too. Um, so the pine beetle became an infested infestation in an unbalanced forest and pretty much killed all our pine trees. Our hillsides were red with dying pine trees. This has become a problem in urban areas because the pine trees are eventually going to fall on houses and whatnot. So when the acreage that we lived on has been clear cut, as were all the neighbors, making a beautiful forest into a natural disaster according to the lives of trees. are deciduous. But of course in death brings life. This is my dog. <laughs> Drainage here on our streets. This trail leads to power lines.
Oh, there is a moose track. It's been long gone. That's probably not even moose. There's a track of a prey animal. This tree has been at war. You can see by the amount of sap. It looks like somebody took an axe. 